You know, introductions are always really hard, but my name is Zach. This is my channel, Ultimate Rebuilds, and I like to build cool stuff and unique stuff. I try to be a little bit different than the normal, average, everyday YouTuber, so stay tuned. We'll, we'll see how it works Whoa. out. Yeah. So I got another boat and I was not expecting to get a boat so soon, but this deal was like way too good to pass up. Let me tell you about how I came to get this boat because it's an interesting story. So I've been looking for a pontoon boat for a while and I've been looking for something to turn into a party barge kind of style. I just wanted to like go hang out with my friends and have multiple people out there on the lake. And my current boat can't really do that right now. It's rated for like seven people, but only like 885 pounds or something like that. It's just, I can only have like maybe five people on there really because the weight just doesn't add up. So the story goes, I was looking on Facebook Marketplace for a pontoon boat and Craigslist and all this other stuff. Not too many options coming up. I found one, which was a decent deal. It was $1,300 for just the pontoon boat. It's a 24 foot, it, the deck was all rotted out and just, it didn't have a motor. It didn't have the whole steering assembly, anything like that. But it didn't come with a trailer. So he's gonna throw in another trailer for another $700, so $2,000 for this thing which isn't really a terrible deal considering how much pontoon boats go for around me. But I got there, wasn't really what I was looking for. It had a few more dents and things on it and the trailer wasn't uh, in that great condition considering how much he was asking for it. So I decided to pass on it. So on my way home, I was driving and I saw this thing off to the side and it had a for sale sign on it with $1,500 written on it. And I was like, whoa, that is super cheap. And it has a motor and everything on it. So I was like, there has to be something wrong with it. It doesn't have a title or the trailer doesn't come with it or something like that. So I turned around, there's already multiple people looking at it because he just pulled it out and $1,500 is cheap for a pontoon boat even if it doesn't run or it doesn't have anything on it. Anyways, I go up to him, I'm like, yo, did you sell it yet? And he's like, no. So I look over it really quick and ask him, does it have a title? Yes. Come with the trailer? Yes. Does it run? He said, I had it running out in the lake for a day or so and it's just too big for me. I don't want it anymore. I took it on trade. So I'm like, okay, I want it. 1500 is your bottom dollar? He's like, well, I'll take 1400 So I'm like, okay, <laughs> I was gonna pay 15, but I'll take the 1400 since you just brought it up. Um, paid $1,400, got it out of there quickly because there's already people coming in to come buy it too, because it was just a crazy deal. Like it was so convenient. <laughs> I was coming back from looking at a pontoon boat and this came in my clutches, I guess. So that's the whole story about how I got it. I want to look it over with you guys because I quickly went over it so I didn't get the whole full details. I don't, I didn't test it out if it ran or anything because there's a lot of people coming to buy it so I just bought it and got it out of there. So we're going to go over it. I'm going to clean it up and see how good of a deal it was. It's already a good deal but how good a deal was it? So stay tuned. Man, it's hard to believe I got this thing for $1,400. I can't, I can't even find <laughs> it's hard to find a trailer for $1,400, let alone a whole boat with a motor, trailer, and a title. So I think I got a good deal on it. We'll we'll test it all out. See, we'll go through it. See what else it came with, because there's some other goodies inside. Yeah, it's been hit a few times. I think I can straighten that out. This part, he did not know if it's a hole or if it's a dent. I think it's just a dent. I really hope someone didn't cover a hole with Bondo. Either way, we're gonna take all that off and see what's underneath it and if it's just a dent it'll be fine but if it's a hole I need to have that welded up and fixed the panel on this side is really good the only part right here dented in a little bit I think I can pull that out too pontoon is in great shape no major dents or anything yep even back here where there's usually a lot of dents not that bad as for the motor it looks like they painted it a few times and it looks pretty gross he said it runs but I did not test it out there's a lot of people coming to look at this thing and I just wanted to buy it right away so I didn't really have time to start it up or anything. Either way, it was a good deal. Going down to the bottom of the motor, you see it looks like the fin got broken off. This is called the skag or the skag. One of those, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's basically the bottom fin part of this. Uh, helps with controlling it and it was broken off. It looks like they just screwed in and put some pop rivets in there. So, I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this motor. I might upgrade it, get a bigger one. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna try to get this thing running because it's supposed to be it's supposed to run. 
but haven't tried it yet. Um, panels back here look okay. A little bit of dents, nothing too major. Let's go on the air side. Um, the only thing major on this panel siding is right here. Looks like they hit something. I could probably replace this post eventually, but for right now it's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that when we start restoring this thing. As for the trailer, it's in decent shape. Obviously the wood needs replaced back here. And there's a spot on the air side that's kind of missing. But the whole frame part looks really great. Everything's really straight. Definitely needs new wheels. And probably replace the hubs on that too. Just to get it out of the way. The wood all looks fantastic. Like really good shape. I didn't see any soft spots underneath. And I was walking up on top. Didn't feel anything too major. Now let's walk up top and see what the interior looks like. Now this pontoon boat is more of a fishing style. It has like all these seats up front for fishing off of. And I think he told me this is a live well. So you just keep your fish in there. There's supposed to be a pump or something somewhere. Yeah, man, it's a lot of water. Carpet obviously is gonna go. These are all your fishing pole slot things. I'm not a fisherman, so I, I don't plan on keeping this a fishing boat. Hey, look there. Save me a dollar. Seats, I've seen worse. Uh, probably gonna get rid of them all anyway because I don't plan on having these seats up here. I wanna have bench seats. Back when we had a pontoon boat years ago, we had a spot like this and it was for a toilet. Haven't really looked underneath there too much. I took a peek and it was just full of junk, so I don't know what's back there. Bunch of life jackets, rope, uh, a couple anchors. Don't know what works up here. It all looks pretty rough. Up underneath the seats. It's a little gross. Some good life jackets though. I'll take those out and clean them up. This battery, that's got a dual battery hookup or setup. That's good to know. I want to clean this thing up really bad right now. So I'm gonna grab the, oh, there's like four anchors in here. Let me count them. One, two, three. Four. I wonder how many. Oh, is this another one? <laughs> Five anchors. I was just about to buy an anchor for my other boat too. But I'm gonna go grab my other GoPro, set up a time lapse, and I'm gonna try to clean this thing up a bit. I would like to get pressure washed today too, if I can get that done. It's all cleaned up, looks better now, but it's definitely not perfect. <laughs> I still got pressure wash. But let's go over what I found first. This is the toilet. It is brand new. I'm gonna look it up and put a price down, how much it costs. Maybe I can make my money back and I have a free pontoon boat. Got a fire extinguisher and unused. I don't, I think there's a date on them. They expire, I need to make sure it's okay to keep in here. I gotta get a grip on it, it's pretty heavy. Okay. Yeah, shock's kind of messed up. Uh, gas tank, pretty big. Uh, don't know how much gas is in it. Engine again. Now let's look at all the junk I threw out. I put it in the categories to make it a little bit easier for us. All right, first category. This is the poles category. I think this is a fishing pole. I don't know what these poles are to, but I'm assuming it's to the boat. Uh, I don't know what it's for. Um, these things, no idea. Maybe some kind of fishing thing. Looks like it screws onto the posts and maybe put a fishing pole right here. I don't I don't know. I'm just guessing. Uh, rusted tools category. It's a knife for I'm guessing fish. Some tools. These are all pretty rusted. It might still work. This thing's not even opening. This is a grill cover. I don't know what they were using it for. Maybe there used to be a grill on there. Who knows? This is the life jacket category. Uh, almost all of them are okay. This one's the only one that's pretty bad. Looks like a rat got to it. I'll throw that one away. Keep the rest of them. I'll put them in something. I'll throw them back in here and I have other life jackets that are a bit nicer. These ones are pretty okay. They seem to be fine. I'm gonna dry them out and clean them up. Uh, yeah, they look okay. This is the junk category. Look at all these water bottles. It's not even opened. I'm not gonna keep any of them obviously because you don't wanna keep water bottles that have been sitting in the sun for <laughs> even a day. 
they, they taste weird and not good for you. This thing is full of water. Uh, not gonna keep that. This is just a bunch of empty stuff. Oil, might keep that. A uh, bunch of other stuff. You like the shirt? <laughs> uh, I don't know what it's from. Biker life clothing, sounds about right. Okay, now for my favorite category, the anchor category. Five anchors, <laughs> um, almost all the kinds of anchors. Uh, I took a class when I got my boating license on different kinds of anchors. Couldn't tell you what they're called now. I already forgot, but a bunch of different kind of anchors, which is really cool. These all three are the same. This is the anchor I have in my other boat, but this one's a wet, lot bigger, so I'm gonna put it in the other boat. That's pretty much it for categories. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the pressure washer. Uh, I think it broke. I don't know if my dad fixed it last time, but it broke. The belt broke on it. I gotta find a new belt for it, put it on, and then hopefully get it running so I can clean this thing up. All done with the pressure washer. Let's see how it looked. You can see how bad the carpet is up here. It's just all worn away and the pressure washer didn't help at all. But the seats came out pretty good. It's about as good as they can. Now here, let me show you what the carpet used to look like. It's just, over time, it's just really worn out. That was the color originally. This doesn't drain underneath here for some reason, so there's still a bunch of water. Um, I'll either vacuum all that out or just pump it out. I mean, all these seats are gonna come out eventually anyway, so I'm not, not too worried about it right now. Uh, 
Um, but while I was pressure washing, I was charging up the battery. So let's go ahead and plug it back in. And then I'll hook up the water to the motor and try to start it. We'll see if it, we'll see if it starts. You know, fingers crossed. Here it goes. First time trying to start it. It's this key, not that one. No luck just yet, but I noticed this thing. Usually you squeeze these a couple of times, kind of like a like a little choke or something. So squeeze that, try it again, see if it starts. Make sure I'm recording. Man, it actually sounds pretty good. I was fully expecting it not to run. So whatever this thing is, it like stops me from like putting it in gear. So that's what I was doing. I just wanted to put it in gear for like a second to try to get up the speed or not really get the speed, but just get it going, keep it running. But man, that thing's purring. I love it. Yes. Ah. This is so exciting. I can't, ah, uh, can't believe it. What a deal. All right, let's turn it off. I think it's ran enough. Man, ah, uh, I just, I keep saying, man, I'm excited, but I'm really excited. And that's a wrap for this video, guys. I had to talk a lot, and that is not easy for me to do, but I really needed to explain a lot of stuff going on with this boat and my plans for it. Uh, I'm gonna go over more plans in the later episodes because I couldn't fit it all in this episode. It's getting kind of long, and I don't like a video where I'm talking the whole time and not really doing a whole lot. So next video, I'm gonna be going over more about what's gonna happen to this thing. Uh, I also want to take it out on the lake, make sure everything works well with that, steering-wise. So yeah, I have big plans for this thing. I already have an idea of the layout I want to go for, just changing the whole layout, getting rid of all the fishing stuff, but I'm really open to suggestions that you guys might have. Uh, I'm looking for new bench seats, so if you guys have any links to that, email me, please, or comment below any other ideas. Email is right here. Also, if you aren't following me on Instagram yet, I do a lot of behind the scenes stuff. I also go live occasionally and answer any questions you guys might have. Yeah, just post a lot on there. I give a heads up when I'm about to post. So yeah, follow me there. <laughs> All right guys, I will catch you in the next episode. Start tearing into this thing, maybe take it out on the lake. We'll, we'll see. Bye. <laughs>